everybody, welcome to Bernie's Compound. Today I'm going to go through a bit of a bug, buggy modification that I've been doing for a couple of months. And what it sort of involved was taking out the old GY6150 motor here and replacing it with this SYM300 fuel injected motor I got. Now it wasn't a straightforward swap over, I can tell you that. Basically, here's the rear swing arm. So what we had to do was ended up welding another bar under the existing bar. And then I had to chop out extra here because I needed 60mm to get the motor down lower. So as soon as I'd done all that, the motor sat in perfect, except then the axle was too high so I had to cut these brackets off and relocate them and I put them 50mm back and 10mm down and by doing that I could use the whole rear axle assembly untouched so no modifications to that the other bit on the floor just here is pretty much half the SYM front engine mount which I've just added a couple of bits of box section to to make everything fit and to get it off and on easy so that bit wasn't so hard but as you see the motors getting borderline double the size of the GY6 motor and I've actually got it to sort of fit in pretty good just the modifications on that frame alone made everything work the little bit beside it is like a rear subframe that goes off the back because the motor's so long it actually hangs out the back of the swing arm so I made that cradle so it supports the whole rear end of the motor and also it's got a like a clevis in it which makes it go up and down so that's where you get your chain adjustment from so basically from there I've got a simple frame for a radiator and the radiator is actually out of an SV650 so that should work pretty good I reckon so from there I've had to do a small modification on the brake but I actually could manage to make it fit to its original mounts so that's all untouched so to get to this point it was just a matter of cutting and welding in and making stuff but otherwise it was all worth it because there was really not a lot of money involved it was just a couple of dollars in steel and your time to sit there and weld it and cut it and weld it and grind it to get it looking like it should so the buggy is actually a Tomblin Punisher so it's a big buggy twin seater left hand drive which is pretty cool because we like that works well out the property the luxury about using this motor is no shifters it's just a throttle and a brake and basically that's it that's the old shifter in there but this motor does not need a shifter at all as soon as you turn the key bang you're into it so I've actually made up a muffler for it and exhaust I've just got to finish that bit off so I've got the bracket and everything made for that so that turned out alright got a nice little rubber to sit there here's just a bar that sits off the motor which is braced off the frame so it just adds more support to the motor safe from moving around too much but otherwise it's coming out pretty good so it's actually nearly ready to put back together I was just letting some stuff dry out there with the paint on it but otherwise I've got another project just sitting out the back ready for this motor and all it is is just a go-kart and I'm going to make this fit into a go-kart because it just seems to be the same thing easier no no shifters no nothing turn the key Put, put your foot down and you're gone all you got to worry about is throttle and brakes easy to drive 
Otherwise, I'll keep you posted with anything more that I'm going to do, but otherwise I think I might get stuck into it and put it together, so I'll get back to you. Alright, got the swing arm bolted up, got the shocks bolted up, and you see the motor's all fitted, bolted up, subframe, and the axle's all bolted up. You can see what I was saying earlier on, why everything, why all this had to be dropped back and down to get the clearance off here and the sprocket. You can see with the cutouts of the motor, that's why everything had to be sort of dropped down and so it all fitted in. You can see back here, so your induction's coming through the frame. And there you go, radiator sitting in. So all I've got to do now is sort of just put the wheels on it and do the wiring and just all the basics, water, exhaust. I've got the exhaust made up. It's just got to be finished off just so I'll make sure that it is going to fit right in there which it looks pretty good now. I've had this muffler on about two different buggies so this will be the third one it's been on. So um, as you see, you've got the centre mount, it's all bolted up. It's got the part I cut off the old scooter frame that the motor came out of. I've had to put in some bars here just to keep it all steady. And you see it's all bolted up at the back here. So you can move it up and down, you just got to undo all this. It drops down. And tighten it all up when you get the chain on. And uh, the brake caliper's just got to be fitted. And like I said, the wiring is going to be a bit, bit of a turd. There's a lot there, but still. And I've got to make an airbox because the original airbox will not fit in this because it was just too big. So I'm going to make another one of them. But otherwise, I want to keep going on little things and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've kept going and I managed to get the disc brake caliper all fitted, mounted tight, working, got a good pedal. Actually, it was a good little modification, worked out good. I also painted the exhaust up. You can see it's all fitted now, but while I was waiting for the paint to dry I dragged all the wiring out and you see it's all over the ground here but I also managed to fit the throttle cable all I had to do was just modify the mount a little bit but worked perfect also the radiator is completely mounted but all it needs is to be plumbed and wired as you see, here's the fuel cell. <clears throat> That's the original fuel cell out of the scooter. So it fits in there good, but I've just got to make brackets for it to work. Otherwise, that was all I was waiting for the paint to dry. So then I've got the muffler fitted up, and as you see, it's actually turned out pretty good. It's just the wiring is going to slow me up for about a week I reckon until I find a home for it all. I've still got to wire it all back in to the frame so it leads up into the, the start box. Otherwise, I'm pretty much going to call it a day. So, thank you very much for watching.